Back Bay Sunday, well, we've had Ed Asner in studio and now another member of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, the ageless wonder herself, nearly 90 years young, Betty White. She has been an animal advocate all her life and just released a new book called Betty and Friends, her love for the zoo. Well, uh, Betty White, let's talk about uh, Betty and friends. And uh, you had mentioned off camera that you've been a, a lover of animals all your life, but uh, this kind of makes it true to form, doesn't it? Well, I've, I've been a, uh, an animal nut my whole life, but I got that from my parents. They were too. Now, with dogs, cats, did you start out with that? I know you used to hang out at the San Diego Zoo a little bit, but uh, where did it all begin? Well, in, in the womb, I think, but uh, I've been a zoo lover and, and uh, animal of, animals of all kinds have always fascinated me. And I've worked with the Los Angeles Zoo for over 50 years, so I, I thought our wonderful photographer takes these magnificent pictures and he always gives me a print. So I thought that was a wonderful way of explaining to people the good that zoos do, that they don't get credit for many times. It, and is that they, what inspired uh, you? I um, didn't mean to interrupt, but is that what inspired you to, uh, to write the book, to uh, show the pictures and share it with everybody? Yeah, just to share the, 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 as I say, the good that zoos do that goes uncredited. They not only show people the live animals up close that they can't see any other way, but they, in the wild, they now zoos all the major zoos work together. They trade animals to keep the biodiversity current, and they also work with endangered small groups of animals around the world in the wild. And the things that they've learned at the zoo, they can bring to that wild population and keep it from disappearing. It's very important. Now you very have a, much appreciated. You have a relationship with an orangutan. You can't say that to many 89-year-old uh, ladies, can you? No, yet it, it's a little <laughs> hard to explain your, your passion for a 380-pound orangutan named Bruno. But Bruno and I have a great relationship. Now, when you, when you go to the zoo and when you see some of these animals that you love so much, do you, do you ever wonder if they could talk? Uh, you must look into their eyes and you, you know by action that they, they love you to death, but do uh, you ever wonder? Well, I, I tell you, if, I know it sounds weird, but they do. They communicate with us all the time. It's just that sometimes we don't pay enough attention. If you, if you really watch an animal, instead of going from exhibit to exhibit when you're at the zoo, sometimes just stay in front of one exhibit and watch for a while. Pretty soon you'll see the interaction and pretty soon you'll get, you'll get to understand the, the, what's going on in that community. And it's fascinating. And as a little girl, what drew you in um, and what particular type of animal? Was it the giraffes, the gorillas, or what? Anything with a leg on each corner. I don't care. I love them all. I don't find any animal not fascinating. Anything. If they have more than four legs, I'm not quite as intimate. And if they have only two legs, I'm a little intimidated. <laughs> but yeah. the four-legged ones, I get along with great. Yeah, those two-legged ones, you got to be careful of. Hey, well, look, if for a moment, and if we can, the one. let's talk about your career. Are you, uh, well, you've never retired. You just keep coming back with just great stuff. And your appearance on Saturday Night Live was just fabulous. One of the highest rated Saturday Night Lives uh, to date. Uh, how much fun was that? And can we expect to see you in, uh, in that situation a little bit more? Uh, not in. Uh, I'm sure not Saturday Night Live. I've I've done that. They they. Uh, I, I I don't think they have their host back uh, too often unless you, people like Tina Fey and those wonderful people. But the the career I am so grateful for at this late date in my life is still uh, viable. I have a new show coming out uh, called Off Their Rockers. It's a hidden camera game show, uh, very much like the old candid camera, except this time the old people prank the young ones. It's fun. Oh, good. Well, Alan Fun is, uh, is smiling down upon you. If you had to pick uh, one of your shows, Mary Tyler Moore, The Golden Girls, and I know you're doing a series right now in Cleveland, uh, what would it be? What, what, what's one of your favorite ones, your favorite roles? 
Well, it's a tough call between the Golden Girls and Mary Tyler Moore, but I'm having such a wonderful time with Valerie Bertinelli and Wendy Malick and Jane Leaves on Hot in Cleveland that can I have three favorites? <laughs> Well, that's good. Well, we love the book. We wish you all the best, Betty, and uh, keep on working. And uh, happy birthday in, uh, in January. I guess 80 years young, or 90 years young. Excuse me, I took 10 90. years from you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, and thank you for the plug on the book. I appreciate it. You're the best. Thanks. She is a love, and you can purchase a copy of Betty and Friends, My Life at the Zoo at your local bookstore. And that'll do it once again this week. Have a great weekend, and we're going to see you next time right here on Bay Sunday. We're going to leave you with a little more from Fela, which is currently playing at the Current Theater right here in San Francisco. Enjoy your weekend, everybody.